Hello, this is Lori with Kingdom Web Services. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a page to your website and then put it in the menu. So follow along with me for these basic steps. Right now we are in the dashboard. This is one of our template themes. You'll see over here, this is your dashboard, which gives you all of the tools you need to create. So to begin, we are going to create a new page. So we're going to click on Pages. Here we've opened up already existing pages that have been created by Kingdom, maybe some that you would have created. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a Seniors Ministry page. How we do that is up at the top where we see Pages, it says Add New. We're going to click on that, and this will open up a place for us to begin our new page. Here it says add title. So we're going to add our title in Senior Ministry. Now, Kingdom has provided you with an upgrade on your site. It is Elementor and we've added Elementor Pro. So all of your pages and anything that you're going to create, we request that you use Edit with Elementor. You will find this is a really fun tool. So we're going to click on this Edit with Elementor. So we're beginning our page here. The first thing we're going to do is we want this to be a full width page on our site. So down here you're seeing this little cog that says settings. We're going to click on that and when we open it up you'll see page layout. The main thing we want to do on here is we are going to make this Elementor full width. Now this is going to change the screen somewhat. It did take away the title. Um, never mind that, we are going to go ahead and add the title back in. And what we do is you'll see here, this is Elementor, and there are a lot of tools in here that you can use to create a really nice site. The tools here um, headings, text editor, images, we're going to be using all of those. But then you can look over here and you can see um, that you'll see this uh, template tool. This isn't something we're going to show you today, it's just a variation of layouts. Here the plus sign says add a new section and when you click on that, if you want to make your sections um, layout uh, differently, like with different sections um, across. This is a great way to start. To keep it simple, we're just going to use a regular layout for one section. This is an editor tool for this box. So there are settings within here. Um, we're going to keep it really basic for this session and then we're going to add more to this later. So right now we're going to go ahead and add a title. So you're going to see this here, but we want to take and add a widget. So we're going to go up to this little nine box area and we're going to grab a heading. This will be our title. Now what's nice about this is everything you do is going to be done over here on the left um, and you're going to have a lot of uh, different tools you can use to create. We'll keep it fairly simple just because we know sometimes you just want to get that page added. So right here we're going to, uh, I kind of highlighted it, you can delete it with your delete button um, to delete what's there or just type over it. So here we're going to add our title, Senior, well let's start that over. We're going to go in and add it again and type in Senior Ministry. Now I'm going to show you this with the bloopers because sometimes you know it's good to see that because it helps you to know that um, it's just an easy fix when that happens. So I've decided that I wanted to center it so I went down here to my alignment tool just like you would in any editor and I chose it to be in the center. Now another nice feature of this is being able to change the style. A lot of people like a fancier font um, different colors. Let's go ahead and change our text color by clicking here, which opens up a whole new color scheme. You can move your bar back and forth for different colors. 
um, if we wanted to keep this within the colors of the site, I'm going to drag this dot up here. We're going to keep it this color. And you can also fade this very same thing by grabbing and sliding it across. We're going to keep it stronger color. Now, the other nice tool, you can have a text shadow, but what we're going to do is the topography. We're going to um, adjust the size. We can change the font itself by clicking here, and you can see the different fonts that you can use. So if you have a favorite, most likely if it's a Google font or Adobe font, they are in here. I believe these are mainly Google fonts. So they're very popular, well known. We can grab one. Let's just grab this one. You can see the change is is very instantaneous. And what really makes it nice is that you can do everything where you can just see it right on this screen. So there's a lot of things on here you can do. We'll go back to something more simple. And that is your title. And we publish it. If you notice, there's a screen button down here. Now you can do the whole page and then publish. I like to just publish each thing as I do it, just in case I miss something and forget or um, make a mistake and then go have to go back. So I keep it that way. Um, now, what we want to do is add some text. So we're going to go back up here and we're going to, maybe we'll put an image in first. Let's grab an image. So we have this here. You're seeing the image. Um, maybe we're not going to have it this big, but what we're going to do is go in here and this is your media file library. So clicking on that picture image will bring all of the media files up that were in here. So I happen to have an image in here. Should you want to add an image that is in your computer, you would go here, you would select the file, which would then open up where your pictures are or documents or anything else you want to load and it would bring it into your files here. So it's very, very easy to use, pretty self-explanatory. The media library is what's there. So let's add this image by clicking on it. You can see that you've got it when you see the little check mark, and we're gonna insert it. And there it is. Now you can adjust the size of this. You can go here, um, make it smaller if you like. You can move it, same thing. Um, you can put a caption with it. We're not going to at this point in time. We might make it a little bigger. Now, we could put text above it. Let's say that we decided, oh, you know what? I should have put my text on top. We can go here to these tabs. These are your editors that will take you back to this. Um, if I wanted to, just for example, um, go back, oh, I wanna change this. I could click here and it would take me back to this editor. I could come here and I could go, oh, no, let me fix the picture. And it brings me back here. If I wanted to put some text between this, I would add this little plus sign right here and it opens up this area. So let's go ahead and use our text editor and bring it right in there. And so you're going to see some Latin there. That's just an example for you. So again, I'm just dragging my mouse over it and highlighting it. And we're gonna type in um, classes and events for people 55 and up. Now, you could add a lot more, obviously, to that than what I'm doing, but this is just for an example today. And I'm gonna center that, and here, there's several ways to do it, but I am just gonna make my text one of these headings, I think it looks nice, and leave it right there. Um, if you wanted to add like text and a media image in here, you could do that. That's what this is for. If you wanted wrap around uh, text around your picture that um, and, and everything, that's how you would do that. So 
I'm going to update this. And there we have just a simple sample for you to see. All right, now what we're going to do is we want to see how this looks on the front. I want to make sure it looks right. So come up here to the three bars, click on that, and exit back to our dashboard. Now we won't be able to see this on the front until we add it to our menu. So this is very important. So once you've made a page, don't panic if you don't see it. Um, it won't be there until you do that. So what we're going to do is come down to Appearance and grab the menu. Now what's really nice is this is our menu now. You can see all of the pages we've got. Um, what we're going to do is come over here and you can see most recent, we just added a senior ministry page. So we're going to click on that. We're going to add it to our menu. It will automatically show up at the very bottom of the page right here. So we don't want it to be last. We'd really like it to be with our other menu items up farther that have to do with ministry. So what I'm going to do is drag it, drag it. I'm kind of just going to push that top. And you're going to see here the ministries. I'm going to add it. Now, I'm going to offset it from here. You can see that sermons, God stories, photo gallery are all to the left. This is to the right. What this does is it makes it a submenu item, which is what I want. If I want it to appear up in my menu as a main item, I would move it here to the left then it would show up in the main menu automatically. But we want it to be part of our ministries drop-down submenus. Now, make sure once you've saved or done this, you have to save it. If you don't save it, it won't show up. So we've just saved our menu. You can either do that here, and I believe again down here. So there's a couple places. Now, in order to view it, you come right up here. You can click it, and it will open up the front end of the site. I like to right click and open it in a new tab so I have both of them open. Now we're going to go to the front, wait for it to load, and there it is our menu. And there's a video in this one. And as I go across here and go to my ministries, there we see down at the bottom Senior Ministry. And there it is all set to go. And that is our tutorial on adding a page and putting it in your menu. Thanks so much.